Forget the fireworks. Last 4th of July, it was the Danny Mullen crew that lit this city up. Hey, don't ever say again, you're gonna start kissing me in the He said the N word. You You mother. He's a very nice man. No, no, no. He was very cordial to us earlier. We did it to have a good time, but also to highlight the stupidity of the anti-police sentiment here in California. I would like to see the city council defund the police and reallocate the money, you know, but a participatory um, budget, you know, so that the community has a say, a real say. In order to protect people of color, we were told to hate all cops, most of whom are people of color. In order to save minority communities, we had to defund the police. The LA City Council has taken its first step in defunding the LAPD. Today, the council voted to cut the budget by $150 million. This led to a violent crime holocaust in minority communities. The liberal politicians know this, but they don't care. They want to call everything racist, buy a house, then get out before the bloody shoe prints are traced back to their office. Funny, we were introduced to one of these scoundrels last year. Chester Bodine is the district attorney. He don't prosecute no crimes, no sexual assault, no property crimes. That's cool. Crime rates went up 75% since he's been in office. And it didn't take much digging to prove that this guy wasn't just some paranoid redneck. Major retail stores across San Francisco have become crime scenes. Gun violence has doubled this year. Burglaries are at the highest levels in recent history. And car break-ins have spiked more than 150% in parts of the city, according to police records we obtained. Two top prosecutors in San Francisco have just resigned and will now join the effort to oust their former boss, District Attorney Chesa Boudin. You honestly believe that the city's top law enforcement officer is actually making San Francisco more dangerous? Yes. That's right. In terms of making cities safe, Bodin ranks somewhere just above the Luftwaffe and just below Godzilla. We'll talk more about this yellow belly later. But first, we're gonna have some fun at one of his darlings. We need to invest in treatment on demand and on safe consumption sites. Safe injection sites are facilities where people can go inside to make sure that people who are using drugs uh, can do so in a healthy way. If junkies could shoot up at these places, surely they wouldn't mind us showing up and blacking the f out! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah. Swolby, hop in. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We need one more guy, dude. Yeah, dude. The one good thing about boating is we can do whatever we want in this city all day. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel to encourage the mayhem. Do it! Yeah, just right here, huh? Right in the heart of the city. Let's take a peep over the top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Nico. What's up, guys? Hey, we're trying to go inside and get up. We brought booze. You can drink in there. No, you cannot. You can shoot smack in there. I want to drink my alcohol. You cannot drink. drink inside here, okay? At all. But you can do you can do crack. I can do crack, so, but I can't drink. So we can, uh, but you can do fentanyl. I'm trying to shoot I don't up. Know what goes on in there. I think you have a pretty good idea of what goes on in there. So hey, we just want to join them. We just want to party. What's the cover, dude? Sorry. I got 20 bucks. I can slip you. The cover is zero. I'm not letting you land. Look. My name's on the list. Okay. We got a fucking table. Do you? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is it because we're all dudes? Yeah, we got cash. You guys want some cash? Yeah, no. What if we came back with some bitches? But I'm just pissed, man. It feels like we weren't hot enough chicks to get into the happening Vegas nightclub, and now we got to drink at the center bar. That's bullshit, right? That's what it feels like. This is the center bar. Who threw that down? Did you give it to that guy to hold? Yeah, I was trying. I gave it to him for one second. He's you gave it to me? Yes. You're 
This guy is sober as a bird. I, I gave it to you. Jenkins, I gave it to you for one second. Jenkins, let me see what you're reading here. Watch out, because I got my dope inside one of these. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were just a big crypto guy. Jenkins, what do you feel is the future of the blockchain? You invested? I don't even know what it's about. Any of these pages, I know some China White's going to fall out of. What's that? What's that? No! You threw that on the ground too, Jenkins! Just making contact with the pages of a cryptocurrency magazine, it's not then going to rub off on my hands and kill me. You may get a sick high, but you're not going to die. I have mm. some Narcan in my backpack. You'll it be could have right. been licensed. Thank God we have a pseudo nurse like Inla Niggy hanging you know, around. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, let's keep moving. I'm going to come back here in five weeks with a full scale heroin addiction. Then you'll welcome me in. I'm going to come back a junkie. Oh my God. Happy fourth. That should be proof that you're insane and you should be admitted. <laughs> Because you're lovely, darling, and a man would have to be, uh, I'm trying to work my way out of this. Come here, I love that oh, shit. Oh, you're insane because you didn't use your tongue, Brooks. That's what I'm saying. Awesome, that sobering center was fucking horseshit, huh? Bro, discriminating against us because of our race and mm -hmm. our sobriety. Mm -hmm. And our choice our, of substance. They were saying our drugs weren't good enough. Yeah. Alcohol bullshit. kills more people than any of those drugs. That's a fact. I lived in San Francisco from 2014 to 16, and this is a completely new world. All of these people are security officers. They didn't used to exist, and they exist now only out of necessity, because places like Hastings. The University of California Hastings College of the Law have filed a lawsuit not to seek financial damages, but to force the city to clean it up. So that's why all these people finally got deployed. How's it going, man? Happy Fourth of July! How you guys doing? What is Urban Alchemy? No cameras? No cameras. All right, well, we're just trying to publicize the cause. We're trying to help out. So people are doing drugs here? No, it's a homeless youth center. Oh, the youth. I, I thought you said homeless use. I thought you said use. It's really only this guy you got to keep an eye on when it comes to homeless youth. I like the youth. Is it true you said, Leo, that uh -huh. kids without a home give A++ dome? Yeah, I did say that. Did you say that? I, did. <laughs> I like that you're owning it at least. Oh my God, Brooks is trying to make out with homeless chicks. Oh my God. Yes, Brooks! Brooks, wait, 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 Brooks! Make. Sorry, sorry. Do you want me to go say something to him? Was that your woman here? Uh, you guys are just friends. All right, great. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab us some more beer real quick. A little liquid morale for the troops. You know, he feels emboldened. Just like the QAnon shaman felt real bold in that costume, Swolby is gonna, I think he's gonna storm the Civic Center. Who's Swolby? I think he's gonna get inside City Hall. Wait, who's Swolby? Shut up, Bison. Oh my God, I mean, look at the trash accumulation beneath these cars. Can you see it, Nix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what that is, is CVS and Walgreens have had to close a ton of locations in the city because of theft. Theft is so bad in San Francisco that over the last few years, Walgreens has closed 22 stores in the city. The retail pharmacy spends 35 times more in security guards in San Francisco than they do anywhere else. And then people come out here and resell the products in the street. On any given day, this plaza at 24th Street and Mission in San Francisco can look like an outdoor convenience store with everything from toothpaste and pain medication and even cookware all for sale. Now, a new law co-sponsored by Supervisor Hillary Ronan is being enforced, targeting those who are clearly trafficking in stolen goods. That's what's going on behind me. Happy 4th, happy happy fourth. Fourth, everybody, happy 4th. <laughs> Mud's got an open container. <laughs> hey, you a veteran, man? Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Yada yada da. Yada yada da. Say journey and peace be with y'all brothers, man. Keep on continue doing what you're doing, man. Happy fucking birthday. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Jesus. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We're gonna take a ride at Jones, everybody. Taking a ride at Jones to the next sobering center. I need to make out with one more bitch, man. Come on. 
back to the world. That's a Broke tax write off, Leo. You are a hero. Can I get one kiss? Big kiss? You're gonna have to remove the crack pipe first for. Her. Oh my god. No, Brooks is hard alcohol. I can't believe crack pipe out, Brooks's lips in. That was nice. Can't believe that. <laughs> Listen, when I told corporate America we were gonna do a video where we made out with crackheads while wearing Blue Lives Matter gear, many of them panicked. Mercedes-Benz and Denny's were particularly cowardly. But you know who wasn't? Sheath underwear! They love this video, this country, and our channel. I know you. You've got a pile of generic cotton underwear your mom bought you five years ago. Get this out of the house! Get it out of here! No more! There, that's better. Update your fleet to a manly, sexy underwear like sheath. People ask me all the time, they say, Danny, how are sheath underwear so dang comfortable? I tell those people that they're made from a proprietary blend of cumulus cloud and mermaid labia. But they also have dual pouch technology. One pouch is for your nuts and the other is for your rod. It's like segregation, but the best kind of segregation. It keeps everything dry and super comfortable. And I would know how comfortable they are. I wear them on every shoot. Hey, baby. What's your favorite thing about me? Your massive shaft. <laughs> but what else? Your sheath underwear. That's right. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code Danny to get 20% off your order. Do it right now, please. Support a great American company who supports me. To San Francisco, buddy. Yeah, to the most beautiful city on earth. Yeah. To the most beautiful city on earth. Yeah. Los Angeles. USA, 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 USA. Let's make out right now. I got no. Come on. I don't have rights over, over my this body. Black right here dressed like this. You, you, right. Right. She she right. Right. you lost your black card. You lost your black card. She don't even listen to misfits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh oh. Who said the black card comment? Iggy, hey, that might have been over the line. Hey, what? Sir, we'd like to apologize for that comment. What? No, we're taking that comment back. We're, we're taking that comment back. We apologize. He does not have authority over your black card. That is not his domain. Iggy, tell him that. It's not it, your domain. It's my domain. Are you revoking it or not then, Brooks? I'm revoking it, man. Come back here. Sir, your black card has been re-revoked. I'm bring sorry. Your, bring your black card back, man. At least get it punched. I'll make out with you, you little bitch. Hey, tell him you'll validate his black card. I'll validate your black card. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. God damn it, god damn it. Oh, man, we're, hey, we're sorry. We don't have the, your, bo your boobies popped up. We don't have the authority to validate a black card. Oh, hey, she's gonna change, she's gonna change. Wait. Guys, I don't like this. Nico, you stay clear. Nico, keep going. Guys, I'm running, I don't like it. She's got a chain, dude. I think, uh, you know what, I think it's Whole Foods that validates black cards. I don't think it's us. I got that confused. Dude, did you see those titties, Nico? No. You, you probably filmed them, right? Yeah, filmed Hey, guys, you better tune in on Patreon to get a glance at those beauties. Oh, yeah, they popped out, Neeks. Please support the channel, guys. Every Tuesday, we put out 30 to 45 minute extra cuts from all these videos and stuff that doesn't make it into the main channel, plus an exclusive vlog every other Friday and live streams with me every week. Check it out on Patreon. Thank you. You know me, I'm a dainty little white man. I Two or three that. of these, I just, I need an IV. I need a bottle of Dasani. I need somewhere to put my feet up. We need somewhere to sober up, man. I heard this okay. is a sobering center. Oh, this is a sobering center, but honestly, um, I have to take each one of you guys' name one by one. No problem. My name is Daniel James Bryan Mullen. Okay, my name is Daniel Eugene Rudy. We're just looking for a place to sober up for a minute. Why are you filming? We're uh, just documenting us sobering up. All it's right. gonna be a monumental task indeed. Um, Wait, we've been drinking. We can't have cameras in here. Have cameras you in here. Know. 
for privacy, but you guys can come in. We're gonna have to check you in one at a time. Oh, no problem. You guys have any weapons? Can you please put them weapons? Yeah, no, yes. no, no weapons. Okay, no, 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 no. Are you guys no, no, no. Been exposed to uh, COVID? Are you guys been? Um, I handled better? fentanyl earlier on accident. Okay. Um, okay. Formal line over here, please. Yeah, no problem. We can okay, do that. Thank you. Hey. Do you guys still bring up from drugs or alcohol? Both. Yes. Anything for sex addiction, man? Uh, so we don't handle that in the front of you. Hey, addiction's addiction, right, Leo? Oh, yeah, man, I'm a sex addict, but I don't know if that's this is the right spot. I mean, is it really that surprising when you look at him? It's not that surprising. He's a handsome man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Is there a stall in there you can sit down and sober up from pussy for a little bit? Yeah. Wait, why are you swearing? Hey, hold on, hold on. Because honestly, okay. like, you're sort of swearing. Because I've been getting it is a so facility. much pussy. There's some people, there's clients in yeah. the that honestly, that they are triggered from this. So right. if you guys can't be respectful, and there's a lady right here. I mean, there's a person yeah, I heard that, that yeah. you know, we, we. Wait, is she a lady or a person? No, listen. This is a person. Either, my, a person. This is, my I just want to make sure we're taking care of the pronoun stuff. Daniel, I respect you. I respect you. This guy is, I mean, this guy is a doggone sex addict, though. That's the rotten truth. If I can sit one out, maybe a couple hours. Please, when he gets assessed, look it. Please, when he gets assessed, yeah, yeah. Then he can let them know. Thank you. Oh well, this isn't um, this isn't a police roundup, is it? We're not going to be. We're not going to be tight. They don't have a big net over there, do they? I don't, I don't think so. They're going to need a big net. <laughs> Please, Roby and Brooks are still in there. <laughs> they just walked in. in. Yeah, we gotta leave. Can you stop filming this? This is... That's it. You're breaking people's confidentiality. I'm just... I'm just trying to get right. How'd it go, Brooks? Did you get some footage in there? I got some footage. <laughs> More importantly, Brooks, did you sober up? Yeah, do you, do you feel yeah. better? Give yeah. Brooks a hit. Yeah. They stole his high away from him. That yeah, wasn't cool. They were like... <laughs> Mudflap, you're really tempting fate. I kind of want him to hit Mudflap with a beanbag shotgun just to keep us honest. Just to keep us honest. I'll take it. I might deserve it. When I first started researching Kessa, I thought maybe he has good intentions. Car break-ins convinced me otherwise. There are now an average of 74 car break-ins each day. Car burglaries are the most frequent crime in San Francisco. More than 19,000 reported to police so far this year. See, one of Kessa's favorite moves is to blame the cops for the crime explosion. As break-ins skyrocketed, police and the district attorney's office have blamed each other for not doing enough. Police in San Francisco today are making arrests in less than 3% of reported crimes. You know, there can't be consequences if we're not making arrests to begin with. Frustratingly, Police only solve about 1% of reported auto burglaries. But was it really the cops' fault? No! Sergeant Para tells us an already difficult job has been made nearly impossible by the district attorney's office, which he says is often far too lenient on those accused of committing these crimes. We're arresting the same individuals over and over, and it doesn't seem like they're being held accountable. A few minutes later, a hit. These tourists from Europe return to find their car window smashed and their luggage and passports gone. Police tell us one man drove the getaway car, while another jumped out to steal the bags. Move in, move in, uniforms moving in. The driver sped off, leaving behind his partner, Lafayette Davenport. Court documents show he was already awaiting trial on two other car break-in charges from earlier this year. And late last year, he was convicted of taking part in four separate robberies. Two of them involved a gun. Who knows? Maybe that gentleman has been released. And maybe he'll be visiting our van this afternoon. So I want to give him a little gift. So we need to fill this up with the nastiest substances possible. All right. The nastiest matter possible. Put some Japanese beer in there. That's not nasty. It's very good. Sapporo? It's, I don't like Sapporo. Asahi. It's, that was a terrible suggestion. I wanted to do fecal matter, but that'll get the video instantly age restricted. What's a better suggestion than Sapporo? Fish, about, fish guts and liver. Hmm. What's something very oriental we could acquire? Um, oh, that spiky fruit over there. Choy. Where's the spiky fruit, Lee man? What is this? Tori. Tori? Yeah. How much? Ow! Oh, Jesus, it's perfect. It's per It's gonna punish the intruder. Yes, yes, it's gonna yes. punish the robber. Beautiful, Thank Leo. You. We're making progress. Thank you. Here we go. Fish. Oh, perfect. This is what we need. Oh, this is beautiful. Leo, Leo, this. this we need this. However much capital in that whatever <laughs> currency, this is ours. This is the perfect way to punish a thief, Leandro. Oh, God. I want to buy it. We're buying it. How much? That's it? 
Yeah. Ring it up! So big. Ring this thing the fuck up! <laughs> I just want to make it clear to the audience right now. This thing was dead when we arrived, and the rest of its body is going to go on to feed a family. I'm going to pay for this fish. I don't care what it costs. $7.99 a pound. Ow, a pound? Please don't touch me, dude. Please don't. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. How much? <laughs> oh, you guys are really charging an arm and a leg for that head. <laughs> it's 60 bucks. Ah, ah, industrial hose. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is so nasty. I can still feel the slime. Leo's making the same mistake I did, trying to communicate with the employees. It is in vain. Your gardener, the lady at the local liquor store, when they speak broken English, there's at least a basic form of communication that works between the two of you. None of that here. You gotta hold up the decapitated rockfish. How's it going? How's it going? How does he get the uh, fish smell? He, he smells bad pussy, bad pussy, and he wants to get it off. They, they definitely upcharge us. They got the white YouTuber upcharge. Oh, the round eye got overcharged, eh? They look at us and they just see porcelain skinned railroad foreman. You're right. That's how they see us because of our past in California. I want to free all those turtles. One cause at a time, Leo. Let me see the turtles. Leo, today we're combating criminal justice reform. Animal liberation can be next 4th of July. All right. <laughs> we already bought the good one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. Thank you. And we're gonna get some free uh, they're guts. They're about to kill that fish, bro. I don't wanna see this. Film this, Nico. There's gonna be an execution. Kill it! Was that no. fish given a trial? I'll do public defender work for him. Habeas corpus and all that. At least you're administering justice. Catch a bodine, is it? Hmm. I don't know what he said. He said, get the f out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> much it, yeah. That fish might have been a thief. Damn it, you're right. It might have been a thief. What if that fish, what if that fish is a rapist? All right, well, if that fish was going around raping other catfishes, fine. Oh. Well, let's assume so, because that'll keep our spirits high. I like that, I like that. Very, very, oh. he was a, a famous rapist. Oh, he's done. I think he's a dead rapist he, now. Yeah, he's definitely done. See, this is good, though. This is, you know what? Kessabodian could learn something from Chinatown. Mm -hmm. If he came down here and he saw these steadfast fish butchers doing what they do to these animals, maybe he would be inspired to do something to street criminals. Right. If you rape in the, in the fish world, you get your head chopped off. Yes. That's and if you steal be. in this world, at least a hand. I, I like that. I like the hand. It's Islamic oh. law. Yeah, that's true. Slimy. And... You know, I just, the only thing I don't like and the thing we're going to have to remedy is I don't like that the fish is in a bag. You want to well, do that for me, right Mudflap? Right yeah, right now, Leo. All right. Have some respect for the fish head, too. He's an agent of crime fighting. I think we got ourselves the perfect anti-theft device. I, I do. That bag is unbelievable. Yeah. Forget one of the little steering wheel stoppers. Forget an alarm. Oh. You too. This, henceforth, is going to be called Operation Rockfish. Oh God. So, Neeks, I just checked a map, a heat map, of the places where your vehicle is most likely to be burglarized. You know what tops the list? Police data show most auto burglaries happen in popular tourist areas in red and orange, from Land's End to the Palace of Fine Arts in Japantown to Fisherman's Wharf, Union Square, and City Hall. Fisherman's Wharf. For Operation Rockfish to be successful, for justice to be served, we need to drop this thing off while we party. Do it. Let's do it. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. You guys know how to get to Bofa Street? Bofa. Bofa these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> Nico and I just parked in a spot with do not park, you will get towed signs everywhere. Nico, you could say we're committing tow aside right now. Yes. And we're gonna set the bag up nice and visible, but not too visible, not suspiciously visible. Then we're Ubering back to the marina and we're gonna go out with the boys. Do you think, Nico, right now none of them are around us, we can speak freely. Would you say, that the dominant emotion when you go out with mud flap, when you go out with Swolby, is embarrassment? I don't know if it's that. 
but they do. I'll get, say it is. It's uh, when I go out with them, it's more of like a putting out fires kind of thing, making sure no one's getting too grabby, no one's starting fights, no okay. one's doing anything. Okay, like that. so you're putting out fires started by grabbing asses. Yes. Yeah, that sounds embarrassing. It is. So we're going to leave the van in tow zone because uh, we need to complete Operation Rockfish. Let's do it, Nix. That rockfish is probably spelled. I don't even know if it's a rockfish. Also, I don't even know how to say Kessa Bodine's name. Is it Chesa Bodine or Kessa Bodine? Who cares? It's a sign of disrespect that I mispronounce it. Let's leave the fish and go. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't even pay. This is the most rebellious act of parking I've ever done. Gentlemen, I don't mean to be taking justice into our own hands here, but we're doing something called Operation Rockfish. We've got a Blue Lives Matter backpack. We left very visible in a parked car, and uh, all that's inside is uh, the head of a rockfish we bought in Chinatown. <laughs> we're hoping a bandit comes and smash and grabs that I hope thing. not, actually. <laughs> Why not? I hope it's safe. I hope some of those crooks are still making their way through the city and I hope they pay. I hope they take that thing home and it really stinks up their apartment. That's what I hope. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, if you see a big van parked illegally, please don't tow it because that's Operation Rockfish. Good news, people. The rest of the video is gonna be spent getting hammered in this city with the rest of the crew. But first, a little update on what happened to Bodie. As you could probably imagine, Kessa's catch and release program with criminals finally caught up to him. A backlash against rising crime has led to an effort tonight by Democrats to recall the city's new progressive district attorney as critics there accused him of failing to keep the city and its residents safe. But a key flashpoint for the city came when Troy McAllister, a convicted criminal, hit and killed two women while speeding in a stolen car, according to police. Leading up to the fatal crash, McAllister was on the streets after Boudin's office negotiated a plea deal on an armed robbery charge. After that, McAllister was subsequently arrested five more times in the months leading up to the crash. But after each incident, the DA's office declined to file charges, saying they didn't feel they had enough evidence to convict him in any of the cases. After the crash, the recall campaign really got in gear. And I'm happy to report he has been relieved of his duties. Chesa Boudet. Finally, SF voters had enough of the car break-ins, the open-air drug dealing, the shoplifting, and dispose of their hard-left DA like a used condom in the Tenderloin District. He spun the whole recall as being led by Republicans. His code for white racists. And I want to be very clear about what happened tonight. The right-wing billionaires outspent us three to one. But the truth is that only 7% of eligible voters in San Francisco are Republicans. What really happened is nearly everyone hated what he called criminal justice reform. Democrats hated it. Nima Rahimi is an executive board member of the state Democratic Party who recently came out against Boudin. Asians hated it. I think that the most important one is his catch and release policies. It is soft on crime. The press hated it. We wanted to talk to the district attorney about his policies, but for more than 100 days, his office ignored our repeated interview requests. So we tried catching up with him in an event he was hosting, but he still didn't want to talk with us. What is it you're trying to avoid, Mr. District Attorney? That guy is awesome, by the way. Prosecutors hated it. I've seen decisions made in this office in the last year plus since Chase took over that shocked my conscience. And I've been a prosecutor for 30 years. The police hated it. Sir, are you optimistic about the direction of the city now that uh, Kessa Bodine is no longer the district attorney? I am. You are. That was a good first step. Even the liberal mayor of the most liberal city in America hated it. Do you have faith the district attorney is doing everything he can to keep th the city safe? I am not necessarily on the same page with a number of things that he's doing. Significantly, those two chums from last year hated it too. Two average citizens fighting against an incompetent politician. Is he really incompetent though? I don't think so. Kessa's too smart. The paranoid part of me worries that Bodine and people like him are agents of some foreign power, picking up bags of cash in exchange for destroying our country from the inside. So keep an eye out for me, huh? I'm clocking out for the rest of the day.
So 4th of July fell on a Monday this year, which I guess is the worst possible day for 4th of July. It is quiet outside. Oh, this place is closed. Ah, oh, it is a ghost town land. Now nah, we'll find out, watch. There was a club bopping last night. Bopping? Right next to us. Yeah, right next to us. The nightlife is jumping. Uh-oh, I see, I might see a couple birdies. So, Mud Flop's like an engine revving up over here. Oh Damn, those titties are gigantic. So we've got some prospects, dude. We got, um, as Mudflap pointed out, a woman with an enormous chest. Fake, Super fake, right? What are you doing, Leo? Leo, can you for once think of anybody but yourself? No, I can't, okay? And, and listen, what, what am I gonna do tonight, huh, Danny boy? Like, you're not at your best, Leo. Leo, you kinda look like shit tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we need to send somebody That's else in. Lie. You're not the point you man. So we'll be, listen, yeah. I'm not looking good tonight. No. It's obvious to a lot of people here. You need to pick up the slack. You need to carry the team tonight. Yeah. When Tom Brady doesn't feel good, Gronk goes out there and smashes some guys. Or whatever. You know, is that a bad... He might be gay. We don't really know. How about this? Uh, Leo, how about we go in on that enormous chest woman and we shepherd oh. Swolby in and you and I don't, we don't say a fucking word until Swolby fucking gets the thing going. I love it. Let's go. Let's do it. How's it going, ladies? Hi, ladies. How are you? I'm going to come say hi and tell you that you guys are lovely. Oh, you? Look at us. You stopped you. I do. I looked. I looked. I looked you at you when you. I looked at you when you were walking in here. To be honest, Bullshit. when you guys were walking was, in, we both saw you oh, and we thought. Oh, I appreciate it. Absolutely. You absolutely. girls. Thank you. Thank you. Very handsome. Look at him. Leo, we weren't even supposed to speak. This isn't about us. It's not about us. Wow. So this guy, what's See, your name? This guy. Heather. Heather, you were just beautiful. Oh, yeah. You. This man, he's actually, he's on parole. Yeah, he is. No. I think I like yes. him. Yes. Oh, he's, 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 take him home. Oh, he's on parole. For murder? And not, not murder. It was a hit and run. I'm taking oh. him home. He actually, oh, Leo, yes. he, Leo, he hit a dog. He hit a dog yeah, and it was. Right? Yeah. yeah. That happened. He did a little hit and run. Right. Border collie. Border collie. He says he was drunk. He was drunk on tequila yeah. when this happened. Solby is actually a competitive power lifter. Solby, why don't you stand up and strike a pose? Strike a pose. Would you like that? She would love that. Solby, no more words, just posing. His mom, right? Good conversation. What's up? Good. Yeah, we're bonding. Does anybody here have a charger? I can, I can sell it. I need one. Hey, we'll give you a charger if you help us bully this guy into getting shirtless and posing right now. He's a competitive power lifter. That's the only deal. If you're gonna cock block, get him to flo get him to pose. But I'm not okay with him recording. Oh, no, he just bullied him. Do you hear? He just called him the short. I'm not okay with that. What? Hey, he just talked shit. He just talked shit to Swoopy. That guy was a punk. That guy's a piece of shit. That guy was a real jerk. If that guy was gonna come up and he's gonna use some line about a charger to cock block. He's got to do something interesting. Swoby, what, what's wrong with the pose down right there? I wasn't going to do that shit. Dude, we're oh. filming a comedy video. True. Think this is about getting pussy? This isn't about getting pussy. For Leo it is, actually. That's why he's yeah. still in there. I was trying to help him a little bit. You, before we leave, you're going in there and you're yeah. fucking cracking the Jay Cutler. This fine. is the Jay Cutler, okay? Fine, fine. fine. Let's go. Let's roll in. There he is. <laughs> this is what he wanted to do to you, for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apparently, she, he really offended her. I don't know what he did. What did you say, Swolby? He said something, uh, Danny, she said it was atrocious. <laughs> whatever. We like your shirt. We like your shirt. Hey, do it in the button up. That guy, that guy's the biggest cock block. Hey, let's talk to him. Hey, you better check yourself on that cock blocking, bro. Not in our watering hole. Where are the hanging sticks around these parts of town, bitch? Where are the hangers? <laughs> hey, they, you know where they have a phone charger? The gorge. Throw yourself in it. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah? <laughs> God, you think I'm scared of you, dude? I don't want to fight you, but that cock blocking can't go unchecked. What do you know of Gator style? Do not make me test you. Look at this. We're going to do martial arts right now. Yeah, you're real fucking big with your fucking fucking. You can't be trolling the marina for pussy when you're the biggest one around. You got pussy all over your shirt. Bailey, hey, are, you, Bailey are you holding the Wayfarers? Is this really going down? <laughs> Don't approach me, bro. I got my dad's law firm on speed dial. Listen, Okay. go back to mommy, you puss. 
I'm gonna take off your vans and beat you over the head with them. Again, every time Look at it. Come here. I'm gonna show you something. You see this service hole right here? I'm gonna throw you down it. I'm gonna throw you down this. I'm gonna throw you down the service hole. You're going down there. You're going down the service hole, dude. Get in. Time out. Fetch me a bottle of tequila. Get in there. You can't hit me. I need you to give me some tequila before you throw any punches. The drinks are too expensive. Listen, I need my drink refreshed. You're being very unhelpful in that department. Let's walk. We're going to go to the local liquor store. You're going to buy me a 40. All I want is a 40. I changed my mind. Tequila's out. If you tell us the fire department, dude. Your your girlfriend's trying to get. Hey, we have a kitten stuck in a tree. You got a problem? He's right here. He's right here. You have a problem? Do something. You, hey, dude, that guy cock blocked my buddy ruthlessly, so we just had to let him know what time it was. Yeah, that's fucked up. Man. It was pretty effed up. She's climbing on the fire. Oh, dude, Nico, Liam's girl left him for the fire department. His girl left him for the fire department. <laughs> just leave fucking Leo in there. Just, you're a bastard. <laughs> Leo, do you have any idea what just happened? No. We just had a huge blowout in Was the street. Guy? Dude, he tried to fight me. What? It was great. I like how you use the smoke screen of the fight just to try to get blown. I've been trying to. I got the Instagram of her daughter. Can we give Swolby a round of applause? Swolby, did you Swolby, see the pose? You. Did you see the poses? You killed it, dude. You killed it. You killed it. I don't know what you did to the other one, but one of them hates your guts. <laughs> really, really. That's what happens when you go drinking with the Danny Mullen crew. <laughs> If I had, uh, getting laid, I would not say is the priority. Just, just raising hell yeah. <laughs> in places with liquor licenses is what we do. Please like the video, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Hey, 4th of July special. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, Let's yeah. go, boys. I'm having a slice of pizza. I saw you hop in the fire truck, and I apologize oh, to, the, yeah. to the guy you were with. Well, he was being kind of a bitch. A fighter. Yeah. Uh, not you. Oh, no, not no, her, no. Him. He was being him. a bitch to have. He was. He was. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of being a bitch. I yeah, want to go to fire truck. This guy, this guy is one of the guys that invented Venmo. It's crazy. Are you really? Let's, yeah. let's go. Late. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you, you found some dumb bitches. We're going. Let's go. Yeah. It is just before midnight, Fourth of July. We're gonna go check in on Operation Rockfish. Okay. Turn over there. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Parking. Oh, I see the van. It didn't get towed. It didn't get towed. Wow. Has it been robbed? Has it been ticketed? Those are the issues to work out. Nix. Nix. There were no consequences of any kind. I mean, look at this. Enforced 24 hours. No tow. No ticket. No stolen rockfish. I think this is a sign. Now that Kessa Bodine, the scumball, is out of office. Things are looking up in San Francisco. A tax-paying citizen can illegally park a rented van with a decapitated fish riding shotgun, and it's fine, as it should be. I think there's hope for San Francisco. I think there's hope for California. I think there's hope for the United States of America. As long as we keep throwing... Whoa, whoa that was too close. I take back everything I said. Until illegal fireworks are done something about, I will not rest. We need somebody in office who will crack down. You dang marauders, you're disturbing the peace. These people over here have work tomorrow. I hope those guys get billy clubbed by the police until their gums bleed.